now it's time to add inputs to our spaceship so just go to edit project settings and inside input let's add axis mappings for rotating the spaceship left and right and action mappings for shooting our bullet so let's add uh, we'll rotate the spaceship using left and right so when we press left our scale should be minus one and when we press right our scale should be plus one so that when this rotate event is called when we are pressing the left keyboard button a value of minus one will be given to us when we are pressing the right keyboard button a value of plus one will be given to us similarly in axis mapping let's also add move forward so to this let's give up key and the scale would be one in action mappings let's add a button to shoot and that would be spacebar so all our inputs are ready now now we can access these inputs inside our character we can go through the player controller route as well but right now since we just have a single character i'll be going through the character itself so here in our character you'll be able to access the events that we just defined so see this access input access rotate so what do we want to do when this happens we want to take the spaceship static mesh and we want to apply a torque to it or add torque in degrees and what is the torque now just look at the axis of the spaceship so this is the z axis of the spaceship so if you want to rotate left and right we would ideally add torque to its z axis so, so that the ship rotates this way so let's just uh, let's just put this axis value here and let's see what happens let's play the level so nothing is happening if i'm pressing the left key that is because see you'll see the warning here simulate physics has to be enabled if you like to add torque so right now we are adding torque which is a physics method right a, a torque or adding force all these things are physics methods so we want our spaceship to enable physics so let's just select our spaceship static mesh go to simulate physics and just switch it on now if you play it see i see that the spaceship is moving but there is some random movement around the spaceship i think that the position of the spaceship spawn is not defined so let's go to our basic basic placing actors menu and let's drag and drop the player start here let's make the player start a bit up see so the spaceship will start from here now something is wrong with our spaceship yeah so i think the spaceship is anchored to the camera instead of that let's anchor it to default scene route at the same time let's so the gravity on the spaceship is still enabled so i think the spaceship is falling down because we simulated physics so let's disable the gravity because we are in space so i'm disabling the gravity now let's see what happens okay i think the torque is not sufficient because the value is mostly between 0 to 1 let's multiply it with some value and let's promote this value to a variable and set it to torque multiplier let's set it to a thousand and see what happens
to debug this, what you can do is you can just add a print statement and you can check for the access value. So I have connected this access value to this print to see if things are working fine. See, if I'm pressing left, the access value is minus one. If I'm pressing right, the access value is plus one. So why is it not moving then? Okay, I think we need to check this acceleration change. If true torque is taken as a change in angular acceleration instead of physical torque, right? So you have to tick this box. Let's see what happens now. See, now my spaceship has started moving. If I press left button, my spaceship will rotate to left. If I press right button, my spaceship will start rotating to its right. It's moving really fast. I do not want it to move that fast. So let's select the spaceship again. Let's go below. Let's add some angular damping. Let's set the angular damping to 0.1. Play it again. Let's set this value to one and see. See, so the spaceship will come to a halt in some time because there's some angular damping. Yeah, so we are able to rotate our spaceship with pressing left and right. Now let's uh, try to move our spaceship forward. So we had again added another access event called move forward. And here, let's take the spaceship reference again. And let's add force. And the force should be in what direction? So if you select the spaceship, you'll see that the, this red axis is there. So this red axis defines the forward direction of the spaceship. So let's take the space spaceship and let's get the forward vector. We got the forward vector of the spaceship. And whatever is the axis value, we want to multiply that with the forward vector. So I have taken the axis value, I multiplied that with the forward vector and give added that as a force. Again, change the acceleration and press play. Now if I press up button, my spaceship is my spaceship should move. It's not moving right now. So let's increase this multiplier to a uh, thousand again and see what happens. So my spaceship has started moving now. This is similar to very similar to how it moves in the actual asteroids game. Let's rearrange this blueprint a bit. So when there are a lot of methods like this, right, it's better to rearrange them beforehand itself so that there's so that the code doesn't look messy. Yeah, this looks a lot better. Let's select the spaceship. Also increase the linear damping a bit so that the spaceship stops after some time. And it's a lot. Let's reduce it to 0.3. Yeah, so our spaceship has already started movement. Let's promote this as well to a variable. Let's name it forward speed multiply. Player. If you compile, you'll see that the value comes here as 1000.